you share Starlink internet properly with just 10 people, you can make around 100k to 150k every month and still use the internet yourself for free. But if you do it the wrong way, you will lose money fast, get complaints and shut it down. That business will not be able to stand. Now today I'm going to explain to you what actually works, what doesn't and why most people will get this wrong if they don't follow this guide. Now you can have 10 users pay you 10,000 Naira and that is 100,000 Naira monthly. Hello guys, welcome back to AY Excellent Tech and in my last video on 6 months of using Starlink Mini, I asked a simple question. Do you want a full breakdown of how people are sharing Starlink properly as a business? The comment section went wild. A lot of you said yes, a lot of you asked for details and many of you are clearly waiting for this video. Now here is it. So in this video, I'm going to break it down properly, what you should do and what most people will get wrong and what you must understand before trying anything like this. Now, this is not about I, this is not foreign assumption. This is Nigerian reality, African reality. The issue in Nigeria is not willingness to pay for internet. People already pay and still suffer. They suffer on stable network, congested data, upload collapsing during peak hours, business struggling to stay online. And this is a lot for business people. What people actually want is not the fastest internet in the world. Just like that was not what I wanted when I bought Starlink Mini. They want reliable internet that works in the morning, works at night, and works every time. When they need to upload, browse, stream, or work. Now, the gap between pain and still suffering is where this opportunity exists. Let's be clear about the idea. This is not about buying Starlink and opening hotspots. That fails fast. This is a private managed internet service using your Starlink. One Starlink connection shared with divine space, with controlled access, with speed limits, with rules, and with paying users. Now think about this. It may be a small estate, an hostel, a shop, cluster of offices. This is not a public Wi-Fi. It is not free internet. It's a managed service. And that difference is what makes it work. Starlink alone is not the business. Starlink is just the pipe. Starlink like, is like a service provider and then you become a sub-service provider. Four things decide success or failure. Power. When there is no power, there is no internet. If you don't plan power properly, please stop here or forget about this idea. This is the biggest one. Without control, one user will destroy the entire network. In fact, they will stream 4K video non-stop. They will download, download all the biggest games in the world. They will use torrent. Now, if you can't control usage, the business collapses. You are not selling the fastest internet and so don't tag it like that. You are selling reliable internet. I can tell you over the six to seven months now that I've been using Starlink, it is reliable. Now, overselling speed creates complaints. It creates complaints. So don't oversell speed. Don't tell them that you are selling the... That, that, that. You are not even the owner. <laughs> so this does not work everywhere density user type and demand matter this is not magic i'm saying that if you're in lagos if you're in abuja probably some side of ogun starlink may not be available for now but then i will tell you how you can make it work in any area where you are it is all about management let's talk about the numbers because cost is where most people make expensive mistake with power backup proper setup for a small 10 user setup using premium but sensible equipment. Now you are sharing your internet with 10 people. Starlink Mini, the proper router and access points, the cabling, the power backup inverter plus batteries. You are looking at roughly about 1.3 million error to 1.6 million error upfront, depending on power choices. That includes stability, that includes uptime, that includes your control. The second scenario will be when you are not buying power backup like you are not buying it yet or you have it already if power backup already exists or you are cutting corners which i don't expect you to you might reduce upfront cost to around 800,000 naira to 1 million naira but you must understand this downtime will increase if you don't have backup complaint will increase and people will pray you to refund so the second scenario is just for you to be able to understand that uh, if you have a backup already 
you don't need to stress yourself because power is not optional in nigeria it is either paid for upfront or paid for through problems later most people fail because they guess they buy wrong equipment they don't plan power properly and they don't control user they just want to share starlink they price wrongly they over promise they complain then starts then refunds then frustration this is not something you want guessing in this business is expensive and so you must know exactly what you are doing so before we go deeper into pricing bandwidth sharing and um, all those technical stuff um, and how people are actually making money from shared internet now let me quickly answer one of the most common questions i keep getting and this question is something that is common everywhere when anyone wants to start this kind of business what equipment do i actually need to run this kind of business sharing properly not guesses no trial and error and um, the read devices and what each one is meant to do i'll just do a run through quickly the three core categories every serious shared internet setup whether you're using starlink fiber or 5g always comes down to three core categories the internet source the access point a router that manages user and bandwidth if you miss any of those the system will collapse now what people connect to that is access points let's start with access points because this is what your customer actually see now let me give you an example this is an access point now this is an indoor access point it's a silly mounted access point it is mounted like this this way so this is a tp link omada access point we have um, others ubiquity we have um, um, tp link directly you can even use a tp link router and turn it to an access point but this is an access point and um, it broadcasts the wi-fi name this is what they see this is what people connect to on their phone on their phones tvs and laptops now a few things matter here indoor versus outdoor indoor access points are for inside buildings outdoor access points are weather sealed and designed to handle rain heat and dust so they can stay outside you don't mix this up because you must be sure where you are placing the access point frequency most modern setups should support 5 gigahertz so they should be able to see 5 gigahertz ideally alongside 2.4 gigahertz so you are not using smart connect here you are using directly 5 gigahertz and then that gives better speed and less congestion especially in busy areas so people can can pick any of the network that works fine for them now signal strength and coverage higher quality access point push signal better through walls and cover wide areas brands people commonly use for this include tp link ubiquity and similar enterprise style access point not normal home routers although some people use it but then this is the best for internet sharing it is important you go with this you get to what i'm saying finally i would like to say that the tp link omada will cost around 85 and above like that something at, at that price range so you want to get something that is good 85,000 naira and above thereabout so although I, I have a list that i'm going to give you so just stick around now let's go to the brain of the business you cannot run a proper paid internet sharing business with just a router and a wi-fi name no you need a router that controls user that controls them that puts them into a law i mean this router handles things like login pages um speed limit time limit and then um, voucher or pin access fear usage to one person doesn't kill the network this is what separates a business from every other thing chaos internet sharing just normal internet sharing common systems used for this include the microtech routers ubiquity unify systems each has pros and cons but the idea is the same the router becomes the gatekeeper between your internet and your customers this is very very important and uh, it's cost around 100k and thereabouts now this is why this matter um, once you understand this structure everything x becomes very clear to you internet source fits the router and um, router controls user and bandwidth access point distribute wi-fi to buildings and shops and um, this um the the micro tick can cost something around 103 just like i mentioned 100 103 and then um, you must be weary of routers micro tick routers that their memory is low don't go for the cheapest of this because 
it has a number of users that it can take it has a number of users that it can take so i will recommend another one for you so just stick around so this will work it's a micro tick router it's not it's, on, it's not the normal um, everyday router so this is how you control speed by pressing prevent abuse scale beyond five to ten users and even more and actually turn internet into a sustainable business anything outside of this structure is a guesswork after so, that video that i did the question didn't stop there not just does starlink work but how exactly do i set it up without messing it up and i realized something important this is not something you can explain safely in one youtube video if i rush it here people will skip steps they will copy half the idea you will guess the rest and guessing in this kind of setup will be very expensive for you and i don't want you to go through that ordeal so instead of scattering answers across comments and dms i documented the entire system properly from planning to setup to logic to management based on nigerian or african realities now that documentation is what i have packaged in a course starlink shared internet business nigerian and african edition so this is like a playbook for you to be able to implement this business well now what would this cover now inside this course i didn't just explain ideas i showed exactly how this work in a nigerian market step by step this is not theory it is plug and play for nigerian or african reality now inside i broke down how starlink actually allows sharing under residential terms what is safe what is risky and what can get you cut off so no one person spoils everything for you pricing that actually sells in 2026 because you must align it with what Airtel MTN is selling. Realistic tires from 5,000 to about 15,000 Naira per month without argument. You can also combat that into what you have in your country. A complete shopping list including router, access point, PoE switches, power backup with verifiable market prices. So installers or equipment sellers don't cheat you or bab your hair. I also solved the real Nigerian problems of thick walls, multiple buildings, long distances, the antennas and repeaters that will actually work for you, and how to scale smart from 8 to 10 users to 30 plus users without killing your own internet or drowning in the complaint of your client. Now, this course is designed so you are not guessing, you are not overpaying, and you are not learning the hard way. This is for people who want stability in this business idea, not the hype, not ah, I can make money from Starlink. No, I, you, it is for those who are okay with managing users and those who want to understand troubleshooting. Just click, 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 click and troubleshoot for them and set them up. Now, you want predictable income. This is not for those who hate technical responsibility. This is not for those who do not want to plan power. They think Starlink is magic. It is not magic. It is for those who wants to set up a business that can pay them consistently. Now, here is my offer. The full cost is priced at 55,000 Naira. But today, I'm going to give it at about 50% discount. And so, you can get to pay 25,000 Naira as pre-sale that is early buyers will get it for a limited number of days at twenty-five thousand naira you see i'm magnanimous enough i did a lot of research and set up for this to actually come to light so if you are serious the link is below in the description of this video and if you are not ready yet at least you now understand what this actually involves so twenty-five thousand naira will get you all that i've listed above everything from beginning to the end to the first buyer, the first client paying you. So if you are serious about doing this right away, the course link is below in this video and you can also see it on the screen. I will see you inside. If you are not ready to make money with Starlink yet, there is no problem. Subscribe to the channel because I break down real Nigerian tech issues here. Also, if you haven't watched my six months Starlink Money Experience video, that one gives you the full context behind everything you need to decide whether you buy Starlink or not. I will link it on the screen now. Drop your location in the comments. Let me know what kind of setup you are thinking about and I will see you in the next video. Also, in the course. Bye for now.